In this video, I will be showing you step by step demoing how to install Docker desktop for Windows in 2025 successfully. And in the process, I provided the solution for a issue of virtualization support not detected. So I've downloaded Docker desktop installer. So this is the official site of, uh, this is the official site of um, downloading the Docker desktop for Windows. So www.docker.com slash product slash Docker desktop. And here, if you uh, mouse over, you just click, depending upon whether you've got a Mac, Apple Silicon or the Windows computer. Now I, ha I have got a Windows system. So I had to click this one and I download it from here. And from there, I will, I had resumed and it is asking me, I'm just double clicked, click yes. Now this comes up with this uh, menu or configuration installing Docker desktop. This is the latest version because as of today, that is the 4th of November, use WSL2 instead of Hyper-V recommended. Okay, yeah, I'll go for this, yeah. Um, add shortcut to desktop, allow Windows containers to be used with this installation. Yes, I should like to do that also. And now it cautions me, Windows containers should only be enabled if you understand the risks. All right, let's go through the risk quickly and I'll come back. So after going through the risks with the allow Windows containers to be used with this installation, I go ahead, I'm going ahead with getting it all checked, add shortcut to desktop and WSL2 instead of Hyper-V. So uh, I'm fine with Windows containers and by default it actually uses the Linux containers, but on the um, UI for the Docker desktop, I can always switch between the two. So it is still unpacking the files. I'll come back after it has done the step. Quick look over here. You can see that it is deploying components use WSL2 instead of Hyper-V recommended. So now it is going like a breeze and let us come back when the, these steps are completed. So it seems all done, installation succeeded. So after restarting the machine, I have opened the Docker um, desktop from Windows with the run command Windows R and just uh, writing Docker desktop and they click on accept service agreement and it comes up with this work or personal. This is my per personal. So I will just put my email address. And click on continue. And I'll have to create a password or I can choose to continue with Google, which is my preferred way of actually logging in without registering again and again, uh, because I don't remember the password right now. So I'll continue with Google. And this is my Google profile. I have several Google accounts, but this is the one preferred one. So continue and so this is my username, which I can now um, remember. It was already created by me some time back, a few years back, in fact, when I was developing this course on Docker, uh, Dockerization of Blazor. So I click on continue with this and it also shows me. The so I now know the password again uh, 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 and continue. So now it says when I try to load the Docker desktop for Windows, Virtualization support not detected. Now I have to solve this new problem. All right, so I will do these steps first. Verify the virtualization status first step. Okay, so how do I verify? I open the task manager following control shift plus escape. And then what I did was to open the performance tab. This is the, this is the performance tab. And on the right hand side, you can see virtualization is enabled. So what that means? This means that the Docker desktop's message virtualization support not detected isn't about BIOS virtualization itself. It's about WSL2 platform misconfiguration in Windows. So the first step is to ensure required Windows features are enabled. What do we do? I will close this window and I have opened the PowerShell in an administrative mode and I have run these two commands. Uh, these two commands, okay? And I've seen that, you know, it is enabling the features, the operation completed successfully. It has enabled the, um, this is the feature name is Windows subsystem for Linux, all and no restart. There is subsystem for Linux, Windows subsystem for Linux is uh, already 
installed and this one has installed um, this feature name virtual machine platform okay that has also been done all right now the next step is to so here i have to check in the next step wsl status now this says that clearly says that term wsl is not recognized okay so i'll try to install it that means it is not installed at all so when i try to install with this command wsl install dash dash install it again says the term wsl is not recognized all right so the next step is to uh, in the help i have to give a help uh, menu to find out what is there in the help what is the correct command and it, it is not even recognizing the help command this clearly shows that wsl2 is not installed all right so i have to install it i have successfully been able to enable a feature for a system that is not existing so i have to install it okay so wsl windows system subsystem for linux has to be installed and i have gone to the microsoft store and click on get windows subsystem for linux all right feature has already been installed yes now it is installing 2% 6% it will take a bit of time and then i will come back again after it's fully installed the windows subsystem for linux so now it is installed all right what i will do is i will rerun my uh, commands on the uh, windows powershell and i will now like to see the status again status default version 2 so after successfully installing uh, the wsl it says the version 2 although it does say a few things wsl1 is not supported with your current machine configuration which i have not bothered about that wsl2 is more advanced so wsl2 is not supported with your current machine configuration so enable virtual machine platform optional component and ensure virtualization is enabled in the bios enable virtual machine platform by running this so i'll run this command all right so installing windows optional component virtual machine platform deployment image servicing and management tool image version this operation completed successfully changes will not be effective unless the system is rebooted okay i will get the system rebooted and come back and show you now i have rebooted my machine and i have loaded the docker desktop successfully wow your running containers show up here and what is a container how do i run a container all of these there tutorials are there and there is a notification dismiss all all right you have signed out i can re-sign it it's up to me but that's not part of uh, the lecture for today i just wanted to show you how to install docker desktop in a in 2025 with all those uh, support for uh, wsl2 and how the process has been I mean, drastically simplified from the earlier days when Docker desktop installation used to be a headache with so many uh, steps to follow. 